As the Foundation 4 was recently released, it includes the design of pile caps per ACI 318 and per CRSI design guides. But how do you design actually a pile cap inside as the foundation? How do you use the software to complete the design? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to complete a design example of a pile cap completely from scratch using ASLIP Foundation. Let's get started. When you open ASLIP Foundation, you see the project manager where you can see all the modules included in the package spread footings, strap footings, combined footings, wall footings, and pile cap design. Today we're going to design a pile cap completely from scratch. So we'll create a calculation assign a name to the calculation, call it example, add. So this calculation has been added to the tree. Double click on the tree. And this is the template of the design uh, of pile caps. The first step is to enter the information that we already have, the information that was given in the statement of the example. The loads were given. We have some wind loads, uh, Actual, some biaxial moments, and also some shears in both directions. We have also vertical loads in, in dead and uh, vertical loads in, in life. Let's enter this information first. So we know that the dead load is 500 kips, live load is 300, and wind load is 100. In addition, we have these moments in wind, MX 100 keep fit, and MZ 50 keep fit. Let's enter that. 100, 50. 30 keeps in VX and uh, 60 keeps in VZ. 30 keeps and 60 keeps. So we have completed all the load information that was given to us. Also, we have information about the materials. Let's enter the pile capacity. According to the statement of the example, the soil report has recommended uh, 10 inches round piles with compression capacity of 100 kips, so 50 ton uh, piles, and a lateral capacity of 5 kips. This is uh, the capacity for vertical piles uh, loaded laterally at the at the top, five kips. So let's enter this information. One hundred and five. This is the level capacity. It's one hundred kips in in compression, and five kips in 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 lateral. In this case, we don't have any tension. The pile cap F prime C is three ksi, and the column is four ksi. So we have completed all the information given regarding materials, properties, and uh, the loads in the, in the example. Let's go to the, to the geometry. If we go to the column tab, we can enter the dimensions of the column as 26 by 26. This information was given in the example. And it's concentric, so the offset in X and in Z is 0 and 0. Also, the column is not a pedestal, it's a, it's a concrete column, so the loads are applied to the top of the footing. If we click on this uh, box, that means that this is a pedestal and we have a steel column on top of the pedestal. In this case, we don't have a pedestal, it's a concrete column. If we go to the pile cap tab, here we can specify the thickness of the pile cap. This is controlled by shear. Here we can see immediately in one-way shear that the maximum ratio is 0.54, and in punching is 0.55, so we have a lot of room to decrease the thickness here. Let's try with 46. The ratio is 0.63. We can reduce it even more. 44. Ratio is 76. We can reduce it even more if you want. 42. So the ratio is 0.93. It's very close. So we have optimized the, th the thickness to 42 inches. So we have a pile cap supported on 10 piles, round, 10 inches in diameter. The pile cap itself is 42 inches thick, and the column is 26 by 26. Graphically, we can see that here in the pile reactions tab. In this page, we can see the actual load 
per pile and also sorted by load combination. If we click on controlling, the program finds that the controlling combination is this one here in uh, service loads and the program shows the maximum uh, actual load per pile. In this case, the maximum pile load is 91 kips. That's why the ratio is 0.91, because the capacity is 100 kips. So this design has been optimized in this, in this example, 0.93 for the maximum uh, one-way shear ratio. Here immediately we can see what is failing in the, in the design and it's regarding the column. The column minimum uh, steel area is over by 28%. We go to the reinforcement column tab. We are using four number sixes, top and bottom, and two number sixes, left and right. Let's change the rebar size to number eight. And now we comply with a minimum, 0.71. Also, we can see that the column design with these rebars is okay. The maximum ratio is 0.73. And graphically, we can see here in the column tab, we can see that the, the load represented by this point is inside the usable area in the interaction diagram. So the design is, is okay for this column. So we have found the actual uh, loads per pile in this page. In the next tab, one way shear, we can see here the one-way shear at a distance d from the column face in the x direction and in the c direction. In the next tab, we can see the one-way shear at the column face. So these are the numbers of the shear in the x direction and in the z direction. Note that these numbers can be sorted also by load combination. If we click on controlling, the program finds the controlling combination. And this number, which is a uh, uh, factor shear load, can be compared to the design uh, shear strength of the fluid. In the next tab, in the punching shear, at the top we see the punching shear at a distance d over 2 from the column phase, and this is the number for this load combination, and at the column phase at the column face, and this is the number of the punching shear at the column face. In the bending tab, the program shows the moments produced by the piles acting upward to the pile cap at the column face, in, in the z direction, or in the x direction for this load combination, also can be sorted. So these moments are used now internally by the program uh, to calculate the rebars in the pile cap. If we go to at a glance, we can see here another deficiency in the bending, in the bottom bars. The minimum steel area is uh, over by 10%. Uh, so we need to increase the minimum steel area. The ratio is more than 1.0. In the reinforcement tab of the pile cap, we are using only uh, rebars at the bottom. And these rebars are not complying with the minimum steel area. We go to the detail tab scroll down to to the bending calculations here bottom bars we can see here the deficiency the problem has to do with the shrinkage and temperature reinforcement meaning that uh, the rebars that we are using here are okay for bending but not for the minimum uh, shrinkage and temperature so we need to increase uh, a little bit more rebars either at the bottom only or top and bottom for shrinkage and temperature, it's better to use top rebars. So let's use some rebars as well. Now the minimum steel area is okay. 0.90 is the ratio. You can see that the maximum bending ratio is 0.68. Probably we could reduce a little bit more the, the rebars if, if necessary here and optimize the design. If you go to the condensed tab, you can see the calculations in more detail. They are grouped by uh, topic, and they show the controlling load combination. One-way shear with all the limit states, the punching shear with the controlling combination and the limit states, the transfer between the column and the footing, the column itself design, the interaction diagram there, and here the bending design, the top rebars and bottom rebars. 
everything is passing and we can see also here in the other glance that everything now is is passing maybe it could be optimized a little bit more if you want but uh, but you get the idea this is uh, how the program works in summary we entered the information given in the example we entered the loads as load cases dead life and wind also we entered information given in the statement about the material properties f prime c for the column and for the pile cap and also the allowable capacity for the piles in compression and in lateral with that information we can start optimizing the design by selecting the number of piles and checking the calculations so the idea is to change the input and see the effect of that change immediately in the results the program generates this report we can see all the pages here five pages with all the images included in the report or we can see the detailed report as well 11 pages you can see all the pages there with all the images included as you can see it's very easy to design a pile cap using ASDIP foundation we can complete and optimize the design in minutes please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications of similar videos in the future thank you very much for your attention